in the previous one we have discussed about how the himalayas are formed how the process of the himalayas geological process and the background we have discussed it now let us see what are the himalayas exactly at present right now the himalayas are extending from north to the northeastern range and covering the entire distance of nearly 2400 kilometers and it has an area which is occupied of nearly 5 lakh square kilometers from jammu and kashmir to arunachal pradesh region they have a width of nearly 500 kilometers in near the jammu region as they move on towards the northeast the width goes on reducing from 500 in some areas it is 300 then it moves on to 200 as it reaches to arunachal pradesh region it comes to its lowest that is 90 kilometers of the width so himalayas are the largest young folded mountains what we have for us in our world in the present day which are the young foldest mountains in the sense you can imagine how much young they are means the mountains which we are having in the other parts are older mountains these are formed nearly 70 million years ago these are the youngest folded mountains what we are having right now now coming to the himalayan division himalayas are divided into three parts one two three the first part is known as greater himalayas or in the technical terms it is known as himadri the average height of the himadri range or the mountain ranges which are present in the greater himalayas are 6100 kilometers from the sea level if you take the consideration from the normal sea level it is 6100 meters not kilometers it is meters from the sea level where it covers to a highest elevation all the highest peaks in the world like mount everest mount k2 range all these falls in this range of the height and this is completely snow bounded region and it is compromised of all the glaciers and these glaciers melt tilt and move on and they get buckled up and these are the major sources which when they start to melt become the sources of the perennial rivers which are the continuous flow of the rivers so we got a clear picture like what are himalayas length and width the length is 2400 kilometers the width is from 500 kilometers on the northern part of Jammu and Kashmir to by it moves to the Arunachal Pradesh it gets up to 90 in the middle it is from 300 200 it varies in the regions and different places and the entire Himalayas are divided into three parts they are greater Himalayas the first part the greater Himalayas are also known as Himadri region the average height is 6100 kilometers for them all the highest peaks in the world exist here and they are 6100 meters from the sea level completely they are snow bounded and it compromises of glaciers and the melting of the glaciers is the source for the perennial rivers.